essential, we believe that English and maths are your core subjects. In addition, we look at the STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths, because we know that they are the subjects that are going to underpin the learnings and the jobs and the innovations of tomorrow. So I want to see a quick sketch of your layout of what your circuit's going to look like. I think it's important for students to learn about science and STEM related subjects because it gives them a broader idea of what's out there in the world. It also allows them more hands-on activities where they actually get to explore and engage themselves. Yay! 20 years ago the landscape was very different to what it is now and part of that STEM education is preparing them to play an integral role for our workforce in the future. What's your design going to be like? I think the biggest obstacles facing STEM education could be professional development towards teachers, whether they can then effectively implement it within the classroom and also accessing resources. I think a lot of teachers put up their guard if they haven't had that exposure to how STEM can work and how easy it is to use in the classroom. One of the most important things that I know as a principal is to keep your staff motivated and particularly to keep them motivated in STEM when it can be very frustrating. So to keep saying yes to them. If you dream it, we will make it happen. We will find a way through. Future Makers Project is a partnership between Queensland Museum and QGC and us as a school. It involves professional development for our teachers, resources for our teachers to implement in their classrooms and industry professional visits to come and talk to our kids about real life opportunities in STEM industries. So this is one of our HV transformers, so high voltage transformers on site. My favourite activity that the Future Makers have brought to us is when they brought in Sarah from QGC and she explained to us what she does on the island. For them to see what's actually happening in their own backyard, they can see that connection and it was very invaluable towards their knowledge firstly of what's happening in their local community but also in regards to what they're studying. Future Makers has had a really positive impact on our students and teachers' performance. I think we could look at academic results and I could give you data that shows an increase in our A and B averages across prep to year six. But more than that, our kids are excited and engaged. Our teachers are coming and seeking out professional development opportunities. And then those teachers who've worked directly with Future Makers then have passed on their knowledge and expertise to the rest of our teaching team. Future Makers has benefited me as a teacher by allowing me to have these experiences and professional development and resources that I can help develop science better in my classroom. When you do your circuits, your switches... I'm noticing that there's a lot of connection to real world that they're making and then they're also being able to recall facts from other units of work and connecting it to this unit of work so their science knowledge is moving from short-term memory to long-term memory as well. I've seen their engagement with STEM SOAR and they've really been very passionate about participating in all the activities and everything associated and I've really seen that engagement and that passion to learn. What I love about science is that you get to experiment with different things. I love science because of all the hands-on experiments we get to do. If we didn't have science we wouldn't know half the stuff we already know. Yeah, it's like a part of our everyday life now.